Hey everybody, welcome to Therapy Thursday on a Friday this week. So I thought that we would first touch on prevention. Um, after everything that happened in Nashville, I just wanted to mention a couple of things through all of the um, news reports that I've read and all of the videos that I've seen and the all, all of the footage and everything. The one thing that stuck out to me was that the shooter actually reached out to a friend before completing the shooting. And um, this is according to the friend, it was actually on NBC News. And the friend stated that they called the authorities and that it took a little bit longer for the authorities to get back with them. Um, really the main thing that I wanted to touch on is if you see something that it seems out of the ordinary, even if you don't know that it's actually something out of the ordinary, if something doesn't seem right to you, tell someone. Um, all we can do is if we see something, we have to say something. That's going to be the first line in prevention. All of the signs were there. And there were a lot of ways that we may have been able to stop this had this been recognized a little bit earlier. So I'm just urging the public and, and any other providers that see this, if you have friends, if you have family, anyone that you love that starts telling you things that are concerning to you, or even if they're joking and you're not sure, um, go ahead and let somebody know so that we can hopefully begin preventing some of these school shootings rather than having to grieve after them. So on a brighter note, I thought we would talk a little bit about how breathing can affect your cognitive health. So breathing is actually going to help reduce your anxiety by about 40%. Anxiety is essentially a change in your breathing pattern. So what happens is your breathing changes which then signals to your brain that there's a threat. It then puts your brain into what we call fight or flight mode or survival mode. And now you're actually fighting a bear that isn't present. It could be a bear that was present whenever you were seven, eight, you know, a young child. It could be a bear that was present in your teenage years, but that present that bear is no longer present in your life. However, your body doesn't recognize that because your breathing changed. And that told your body that now you're in danger. So your body is putting you into protect mode. And if you get your breathing under control, then not only does it help clear brain fog, but it also reduces anxiety, allows better concentration, and just allows you to feel better in the long run overall. I know anytime, if you're struggling to breathe, I know many times when people experience anxiety, they report forgetting to breathe, essentially. Even though that is something we naturally do, you are consciously taking those breaths, which is causing even your anxiety to go even higher. So one thing that can help is if you will look for whatever you can smell. It's part of a grounding procedure, but essentially you're going to, and then try to identify the smell. And every time you sniff to identify the smell, you're actually reducing your anxiety and clearing your cognitive health. So these are just a few ways that can help with your brain health whenever you are experiencing any anxiety or depression or even panic symptoms, just getting that breathing under control is going to be the first step. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will look forward to seeing you next week.